Do you know who painted this masterpiece of the Mona Lisa? Of course, everyone knows that it was painted by the famous Leonardo da Vinci. This famous painting is currently worth around $860 million. Now, the majority of us might think that Leonardo must have been exceptionally disciplined and gifted to have created such an expensive artwork, but in reality, he was a big procrastinator. He was not a very focused person. His renowned painting, Mona Lisa, took him 16 years to complete. Da Vinci was so famous for his procrastination that oftentimes his benefactor had to threaten him with bankruptcy to get him to finish the required work. So it turns out that not only ordinary individuals but also famous people suffer from procrastination. Many people are not able to work even after being motivated. They begin to do something, but soon become bored. Despite their best efforts, they are never able to stick to their new routine for more than a week. If this happens to you too, let me tell you, you are mentally fucked. This is a mental state in which you feel stuck and purposeless in your life. So today we'll talk about 8 principles that will teach you how to unfuck your mind and take charge of your life in order to achieve financial freedom. But before we get into the video, please subscribe and hit the like button if you find this video helpful so far. Number 1. Begin by taking the first step. Some people never succeed in improving their life because they are unable to take the first step. They believe that their skills are insufficient to change their lives. However, even if you lack any skills, you can still begin learning them. You just have to take the first step. Let's say you wish to earn millions by working as a freelance graphic designer. You can always find a ton of graphic design tutorials on YouTube. You can take the first step by watching and implementing those tutorials. By taking one step at a time, you will surely succeed in life. Number 2. Refuse to give up. Never give up. If you decide from the very beginning that you will never accept failure, then your brain will keep motivating you throughout your journey. To achieve your goals, break them down into manageable steps, and then create an action plan. Even if you run into problems, you need to be able to work through them gradually. Never run from your problems. It would undoubtedly take some time, but don't hasten. Any effort, no matter how tiny, would be helpful if made every day and consistently. How many times have you given up something in your life? Share your story in the comments section below. Number 3. Be optimistic about your problems. Some people think that their lives are full of problems. This prevents them from attempting fresh and challenging things. They accept failure without even trying. Everyone experiences problems at some point in their lives. You should be optimistic about your problems. No matter how hard it gets, you should always try to look for something positive. Where there are problems, there are solutions as well. Being able to make millions of dollars is not simple. The journey is filled with difficulties. But if you have a positive outlook, every problem can be resolved. If something doesn't work out one way, try another. Number 4. Stop looking for security. We all believe that securing a 9 to 5 job will bring us happiness and financial freedom. Simply said, we are always looking for some form of security. Well, having a 9 to 5 work doesn't ensure your happiness or financial security. If you keep working a 9 to 5 job, you'll be stuck in that routine for the rest of your life. This will also bring unhappiness and a lot of boredom. Therefore, give up seeking security and learn to embrace risks. But don't do something blindly, calculate the risk first. If you aim to run a company, you should start with a small business. This will enable you to determine whether the business is sustainable or not. Additionally, the risk will be minimal even if you fail. Number 5. It's okay to think weird. A lot of thoughts cross our minds throughout the day. We struggle to keep our thoughts under control, which suppresses our creativity as well. We've been taught not to entertain negative thoughts. Controlling our negative thoughts often unintentionally prevents us from developing creativity. 
Therefore, never try to control your thoughts, and always evaluate whether they have the ability to transform your life in a positive way. Because most of the time we get afraid of our own thoughts and try to suppress them, but in reality, these are the thoughts that have the seeds of creativity. It's possible that your mind strikes up with such an idea of earning millions of dollars, which isn't yet popular in the world. Number 6. Be positive. By nature, human beings are emotional creatures. Our thoughts and actions depend on how we feel. Positive emotions push us toward success, whilst negative emotions drain our productivity and prevent us from reaching our goals. When we see someone succeed, we usually feel envious. We then begin to doubt our capabilities. But rather than feeling envious, we should attempt to understand what made someone so successful. We should congratulate them and look up to them for inspiration. We often experience anger as well. Which is also undesirable. When someone criticizes our ideas, we usually feel bad about it and become furious. But instead of being enraged, we should strive to figure out why someone disagreed with our ideas. If there is a serious flaw in our idea, we should work to fix it. Number 7. Remember past successes. Always keep in mind your past successes and the challenges you face to get there. These achievements would not have been possible without your hard work and dedication. Our struggle is hindered mostly by confusion and self-doubt. We should learn to control these thoughts. You must remain firm in your dedication to reach your goal. Always keep the finish line of your goal in mind and keep working toward it. No matter how many difficulties you face, simply keep going, push through, and be relentless. Number 8. Journey matters more than goal. Life is unpredictable. We can never predict what will happen tomorrow. We also have no idea how many goals we will be able to accomplish in our lives. But we should remain prepared for every situation. Whether it is success or failure, we should be able to accept it. When we don't succeed at something, we get depressed. Only a few people can remain cheerful after experiencing failure. That is the mindset we should all strive for. It's important to realize that not everything has to go as expected. So, even if we fail to achieve some of our goals, we should shift our focus to other goals and go on. Making a conscious effort to stop disappointment from taking over is necessary to move on. By doing this, we can develop a lot more flexibility and a greater understanding of the process. If you want to know how to achieve your biggest goals in life then watch the video on the left. This video was based on the book, Unfuck Yourself, by Gary John Bishop. Subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos on self-improvement and personal finance.